Okay, we're looking at the week 30 mini test, um, question one. So we're doing moments and question one is just finding um, moments about P. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so um, hopefully quite a straightforward one to start you off. So for um, 1A, um, we're just doing um, so the, the moment is the force, so for 1A that's 8 newtons, times the perpendicular distance, well obviously they've labelled the right angle there, so 3 metres is the perpendicular distance. So the magnitude um, is 24 newton metres, and then you also need to specify which direction. So if you can imagine you've got a pivot at P, if, if you're pulling off to the right, that's going to be turning um, turning it in a clockwise direction. So that's going to be uh, 24 newton meters clockwise. In your calculations, you can use positive for clockwise and negative for anti-clockwise. That's a sensible idea. Um, but when you give your final answer, state whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, so same idea for B. Um, but this time the force is not acting at a right angle, the distance is not at a right angle. So what I'm going to have to do, would be, let's just quickly sketch it out. Okay, so what I want, so P is there, is the perpendicular distance. And you, you've done this a lot in, in other areas of mechanics, um, having to think about a right angle triangle. So if that four meters is basically the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, and I know that's a 45 degree angle, that um, this side I, I've done in red is opposite the 45 degrees. So that's gonna be four sine 45. Okay, so, um, so the moment for that one is going to be, uh, what is the force, 10 newtons. So the force is 10 newtons and the perpendicular distance is 4 sine 45 degrees. You might, I'll tell you one thing you might want to do actually, is you might not want to sort of bother with the units there necessarily, just so it makes it look a bit a bit, a bit clearer. Um, okay, so, oh, for sake, right. So I'm going to put that into my calculator, so 10 times 4 sine 45 is giving me, uh, so it doesn't mention exact form, so it's coming up as uh, 20 root 2, so that's that's fine. Um, normally we go to three, well, we should go to three significant figures if we're um, going for a decimal, and that's going to be newton metres. So I haven't actually considered the direction yet. So I did mention you might want to use negative um, anti-clockwise, um, but actually I'm, I've just done the, the numbers, and now I'm going to think about which way it's turning. So if, if I'm sort of pivoting or turning about P and I'm pulling down to the left here, that is going to be turning um, anti-clockwise. So that's going to be a moment of 28.3 Newton meters. Oh, if I can spell. Anti-clockwise. Okay, next question one.